Okay. Okay, here we go. We got a radio show to do and then we're getting started. Love to hear Stevie Ray Vaughn to get us all pumped up. We're at the I-35 Realty Show. We got bumped last week by the baseball game and really want to congratulate all those guys. You know, it was it was heartbreaker yesterday. Who do I who do I go for? You know, Jamie. We we had Troy in Salado and it, and it was you know what that is great to see uh, kids with real purpose working hard and achieving so much and that was what I got out of uh, that game uh, last night. But uh, yeah, we got a radio show. Let's start. Um, you're listening to Bill. Uh, your Keller William agent for the Central Texas area, and today we've got um, a great guest. My uh, he's called in the real estate speak. He's uh, my broker of record, but I call him my OP. Al Rincon is going to be on with us, and I, I can't wait to talk to him. And uh, of course, I also want to get a shout out to uh, Jamie Green, who runs our boards. Hey, Jamie, how you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you today? I'm doing great. Hey, you know, my mom was listening. Uh, last week okay and she says what is he doing with your voice <laughs> I said, well you know <laughs> i'm working my magic over yeah here you're board. working your magic you're <laughs> laughing you know and i and what it, uh, what i told her because i listen to the shows after we do them to right. hopefully improve on um, myself and and here's what was so funny about that is it sounds exactly the same to me <laughs> as in real life. So I hope I don't disappoint uh, my future clients when I roll in there and they're, you know what it is? They're they're not looking at me. I hope, I hope they don't think they're looking for Barry White around. Right, right, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking when she was saying that. It was uh, that's what they're. Ex- well, I hope they don't they don't expect that, um, and I hope they won't be disappointed. They might be disappointed on uh, how pretty I look, but you know what? They won't be disappointed. When I get their house sold, and that's the whole point, uh, isn't it? Though, <laughs> isn't it? Though, so we we uh, we appreciate Mr. Green being a part of the show because without him, uh, we couldn't do anything. Hey, and speaking of someone who got their house sold, I wanted to come in and talk to you guys about a house that I listed in Waco, uh, and it was, it was a great house. It was a three three two. Or excuse me, it was four two. Beautiful house, beautiful pool, but unfortunately, I got it sold in six days. And and so, in fact, it was a great week last week. We had three listings, uh, went under contract, got a buyer under contract. And, and, and the National Association of Realtors will talk to you about this. You know the average real estate agent? The average real estate agent sells four all year long. That's a statistic they had. And I, I wish I'd saved this uh, article. I don't know where I saw this, but I saw that the average Texas real estate agent sells one a year. Well, darn, a for sale by owner does that. Well, I, I just want to point out to you um, that things are really rocking in our area. And uh, we got some statistics to share. So everybody get your pens and pencils out and let's look at that. May For May uh, 2013 to May 2014 in the Temple Belton area. We had uh, the minimum uh, medium income, or excuse me, not income home price was 140. Well, it's still that no change to this month. Well, uh, last year the average home price was 155, but now it's uh, 159, so it's up 4,000. Property sold in uh, 2013 was 243. Now um, we're up to. 210, so we sold less than 33 houses than we did the previous year. But take heart, because I think this is we're going to start seeing some stuff here. Last year, average days on market was 158. Now it's 108. So we're down 50 days. Mm, interesting statistic there. Homes in inventory. Back in uh, last year, we had 976. We have 1134 now. It's 158 more homes than last year. Again, you kind of go, well, I don't know about that. Now, this is interesting. Um, Last year, months on inventory were three, but now we're up six. So now we're kind of dipping in to uh, what some people would consider a a buyer's market. What I'm thinking we're seeing here when we we put out the statistics is if you still have a well-priced house that is well-positioned in good condition, and well marketing, you're going to get it sold. But let's go on to the Greater Fort Hood statistics. Again, from May 2013 to May uh, 2014, the medium home price was a uh, one 
twenty-six six. Um, but now we're up to one twenty-three three. So we're down thirty-three hundred dollars. Properties. Uh, oh, well, let's go back to the average home price. We got one hundred thirty-one uh, one hundred, and now we're at one twenty-nine eight. So we're down one uh, thirteen hundred. Properties sold. We had uh, two hundred seventeen last year. We're two fifteen. So just two less. In homes and inventory, last year we had fifteen hundred. We're up to fourteen fifty nine. That's not really up. That's actually down forty one homes. In the months on inventory, last year was seven point four. Now we're at six point seven. Again, we're in the clean market. We're looking at um, it's still kind of a buyer's market out there. And, but again, if you pitch your house together well, market it well, and you have a tough agent like yours truly even in tough times you can get your house sold well let's go on to uh talk to a great guy al rincon how you doing al hey bill i'm doing great hey first of all let me just say and you can edit this out if you want because it sounds like it's about you but it is uh since ever since we got involved in waco i want i want everybody to know that when i scanned that office and i looked around uh, bill vernon was absolutely one of the leaders who stood out. So I want to thank you for, A, taking the lead in the office, and, B, thanking enough of me to have you on your show. So thank you very much. Hey, Al, um, and it was funny, the, our first meeting when you came into my office, you you, you spotted my uh, money jar, my shredded money jar. <laughs> right. Yeah, and it was so, so funny to see your, your face when uh, well, I told like you. like a million dollars in shredded dollars. Yeah, well, actually, it's it's, yeah, it's, it's, six, it's 600 bucks. In, in the in there that's shredded up, like, and, like shredded money. money. Yes, Mr. Green, it is shredded money, and I'll I'll bring it to you and let you see it one day. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I yeah, just heard that. that. I just yeah, I had to yeah, I saw your face over there. You're going oh, what, what, what? Uh, what? Well, everybody walks in there and they go, Bill. Yeah. It's like what? Look at this guy. Yeah. He's got it, so much he can shred it. Yeah, I make so much money and shred it. Now, actually, what that's a symbol of in my office is this: every day. People shred money, and that's what the purpose remind me to do my job as best I can, so that we don't shred money. That's what that is a symbol in my office for. Um, oh my and, gosh. Yeah, and, and so that's good what point. it's about. Yeah, good, good metaphor. Right. So, Al, you're a broker. We've already talked about that. You're a partner, a team leader, and an operating principal of the Katy College Station and Waco offices for Keller Williams Realty. Just uh, out of curiosity, why did you choose KW? Well, I actually, I, you threw me off. I thought the question was going to be, how do you sleep at night? Yeah. <laughs> <But> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, soundly, actually, very soundly is the answer to that question. And I'll tell you why to answer your other question. I actually evaluated, uh, 10 years ago, coming out of corporate America, I evaluated the what I considered the top five major franchises because I was leaving a long-standing career, you know, professional at what I used to do, and I was about to start a new career at age 44, and I just wanted to do it right. You know, I wanted to mitigate all the risk I could, and so I had a weighted spreadsheet with all the desirables and all the, the less desirable criteria. And after all the shooting was done, so to speak, um, Keller Williams was really the only one that matched me and my philosophy for doing business and the way I lived my life. So... Um, Gosh, I mean, that's why I chose it. Um, you know, we have a belief system of God and family first, then business, and mm. that's in that priority order. Right. And so, of course, I just naturally migrated. Right. KW. You know, and, and I was going to ask you this question, and we've already kind of started dipping into this. Why do people choose to become Keller Williams agents? And you're kind of you're hitting on it right now, is there's a culture. Um, but what's, an, what's some of the other reasons people uh, choose us? Well, I mean, I think... Uh, I think what most people have a sort of a primitive, primitive need, and that is to succeed at something. I mean, I see it daily. I interview maybe 15 to 20 people a week, either transitioning from another brokerage altogether or transitioning into real estate as a career. And i got to tell you, every time to the person, whether they're brand new in real estate or a multi-million dollar producer coming to us from any other brand, what they leave with, is a satisfaction that they, they can now succeed and be great at something. And, of course, that's after about a 45-minute conversation about what their needs are. 
and um, what Keller Williams has that will meet those needs in the way of training, coaching, consulting, mindset, revenue generate. I mean, I can go on for the show's not that long. Right, right. Long. Yeah, and we talked about that, that you and I have to watch it because uh, we, Adam, you know, my assistant goes, uh, yeah, you two guys will more than blow away 30 minutes of talking about stuff. Um, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, when it's, like a, it's like a mom with her kid. You know, you when you're really passionate about something, you could go on and on and on. So we're not going to do that today. But. Right, right. Hey, you know, the, you were in the office Tuesday, and we had a room full of agents, and you had, uh, and I'll mention her name, Amanda, the rock star LaRue, and me oh, on a panel. Yeah. And you were on um, kind of officiating the panel on expired listings. And um, what what was going on there in, in, in that, um, on the education of ed- agents? I want you to kind of talk about that. I want people oh, to understand that. Sure. I mean, well, let me, I'll frame it up with this first. And you've been there longer than I have. You've been affiliated there. That room was filled, and that maybe hadn't happened in a little while, but now we start bringing some really um, applicable and relevant training. People are flocking to that training because, like I said, it's a natural primitive requirement to know more, have more knowledge. So what we're doing in that room, and it was beautiful to have that many people, I think when they announced on the agenda that the great Bill Vernon and Lamanda Lamanda LaRue were going to be on the panel, that kind of did the whole filling of the room right there. So. Well, uh, yeah. The whole idea was that we were um, focusing on a portion of the market that real estate agents call expired. And that, quite frankly, when an agent takes a listing and it fails to sell during the period in which the agreement uh, noted. So sometimes it's three months, six months, nine months, sometimes 12 months, and the home fails to sell. So we were just evaluating that aspect of the market. We did a little bit of math. It looked like there were 85 or so, on average, 85 homes expired in the Waco area uh, every month. And so if you use your average price points, by the way, phenomenal statistics. I I love an agent who knows their numbers, so thank you for uh, sharing those with the public. Um, If you looked at the numbers for Waco area, you know, at that price point, we figured there was about... I don't know, anywhere from two hundred to $250,000 a year in agent revenue that could be had just by helping people not fail in the sale of their home. So uh, we interviewed you and Amanda on big questions around how you help clients uh, successfully sell their home instead of going back with the same person or the same strategy and not selling their home. Because people need to move on in their lives. For whatever reason, they need to sell their house. They need their house sold, and, and yeah. there is a way to get that done. And and I know we were talking about Waco statistics in that meeting because uh, we were trying to laser focus on um, examples, so we were just using that. You're, again, your turf, so to speak, is the Central Texas area. You you have Clean Temple, uh, Belton, um, in, in your in your area so uh when you're when we're talking uh, about waco i want people to understand that um we're also concentrating on on temple belton and growing um kw uh agents in that area but uh what i want people to take away from this this little st- discussion is this you as the uh, broker make sure your people are trained to do uh your clients a good job is that true yeah, absolutely. I think we have a strong desire to do it right. Agents who come to us have that innate requirement to do things correctly, take care of people. Right, and, and, and that's what I love about KW. Hey, just uh, again, another little question I like. Why should someone uh, pick a Keller Williams agent to be their real estate agent? Uh, man, that's kind of an easy one, and uh, I think it's because we're like them. People want to hang around with or people migrate to others like them. And when we have this this core belief that God and family come first, and then we get down to business and we help you do what we need to get done for you, and we actually have great results, you know, proven by the statistics in the office, I think it's a natural selection. It's a natural choice for a consumer to say, hey, there's one of those Keller Williams agents. They'll get it done for me, and they'll do it right. They'll treat me fair. We might even become friends, and that happens a lot. Yeah. It- it's very interesting, and, and again, what we uh, kind of 
uh, focus on expands. Recently, I've been thinking about this topic, of course, and, and this is what the person I sold their house in less than six days called and said, I want to, uh, because they had such a great experience with a buyer's agent in the Carolinas, I want a Keller William agent to sell my property. Yesterday I was on the phone, and uh, someone called me and said, hey, I'm looking to buy a house in Temple, and, and we were talking about the house. And I, I said, well, how, what, you know, why'd you call me? And he, he goes, well, um, my fiance's mother said, you need to talk to a KW agent. And, and so I, I was really impressed with that. That's really cool. So it's not just in good old Waco, Texas, Temple, Belton, uh, but it's across the really across the planet these days. Opening in you know, yeah, because how many Keller uh, Keller Williams agents do we have right now at National? <laughs> That's a great question. We're, we just reached one hundred thousand Keller Williams associates. And so, um, yeah. I, I, and we're going to not probably talk, uh, touch on this topic today, but on another show, I'm planning on talk, talking about this. A lot of times people go, hey, I want to use the local guy um, in town. They kind of paint me as non-local. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But what I want to impress upon, you know, the person across the street isn't going to buy probably buy your house because they're living across the street. However, mm-hmm. how many referrals do we get outside and how many people do we bring, come in and buy your house from outside? And we have that referral network, don't we? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Really, throughout, again, it used to be across the U.S. Now it's literally across the globe. Right. KW is a, a Keller Williams is a, a national um, organization. And, again, and we won't pick on anybody, but a lot of times what I, I will hear from somebody, I've never heard of, of Keller Williams. Well, where did Carolyn Williams come from? Wow. Um, well, it was a, it was funny. The story goes that Gary Keller had like three guys in an office in Austin, Texas, and he used to answer the phone. Talk about a big thinker. He used to answer the phone. Uh, Good morning. It's a great day at Keller Williams headquarters in Austin. How can I help you? And it's like three guys in the room, right? Three agents in the room. Right. Right. So you know, it was Gary. Where did it come from? Gary Keller's big thinking. That's right. what I think. Right, right. And, and it's really interesting because I don't, and you and I, uh, with about 10,000 other agents, will sit there and, and listen to him talk. And when he tells that story, it's interesting because he goes, you know, I wasn't thinking big enough. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and so he's a, he's, he's a Texas man, and uh, he is a graduate from Baylor. And, the, and you just pointed out our international headquarters is in Austin. So we're actually a Texas-based company. So, right. uh, you know, again, um, we won't pick on anybody, but if you're looking for a local, uh, I don't know how much more local you can get <laughs> than a Texas company, an international right. company, from a Baylor grad. Uh, um, so. I love it. And I don't know if you meant to segue to this, but, you know, it's really important to note that also uh, – that Gary Keller is the kind of guy who gives back, and you know his endowment to uh, Baylor and his constant teaching of the students there is a testament to the way he decided to grow the company. Which I, I, I think it was just a matter of time before we hit the hundred thousand uh, yeah, people it, migrating to us. We're kind of we're kind of flowing into uh, something. I just want to touch on real quick. Mm-hmm. KW agents they spend a lot of time educating us, don't they? They do. My goodness. Yeah, well, International is all about training. Well, you know, um, I'm 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 so happy that you spent time with us, Al. I know you need you have some other stuff to go do because you are a busy guy. <laughs> and, you got and, it. Hey, pre- anytime. Appreciate you coming on, and you have a great rest of your re- weekend. Okay, sir. All right, Bill. God bless. Take we'll care. talk to you later, sir. Bye now. Bye-bye. Okay, so that they we're talking, and again, the reason I have Al on here is I want you guys to start. Um, getting to know me so that when you call me to come and help you in any form or fashion in real estate, and I want you to call me with any question, and this is where I want you to call me, 888-559-5217. Of course, you can reach us by email, radio at i35realty.com. We'd love to hear your questions. And you can see us at i35realty.com and learn more about us and find all our contact information there. But we want to go ahead and talk about some of the properties that we got going. Um, again, we sold, uh, it's on this list, 1216 South Haven Drive in Hewitt. It went um, in six days. 
And let's see, Post Office Road, that one's under a contract in Coppers Cove. But let's go on here. Here's one, 613 Cedar Drive in Coppers Cove. Love this house. Love this. A castle in the sky. It's well priced at 128 5 It's a three, uh, two and a half bedroom, 2,100 square feet. Folks, I'm telling you, this is a great house. We've got 505 Manning Drive in Cove. Really centrally located. I'm telling you, you can walk to uh, all your shopping, to the movie theater. It is and, and still yet being a very suburban uh, area. It's a 3 2, 1642. It's 118 on the square footage. Bel Air Drive, we just uh, got a new roof on there because of all the hell storms we had in Colleen. And this is 711 Bel Air Drive. That's a 4 2, 1308. Great shop. Centrally located. Kids can walk to school. You can be at uh, HEB in a flash. Seven. Uh, we're asking seventy nine nine for that one. Here, if you want a place to retire, this is a great house. Eleven oh four, um, Navarro in Mart. It's a four, a two and a half, a two and a half bath. I was corrected. Someone asked me what, what's four two, and so I'm sorry if I'm talking real steak speak, but that's what it, what we got going on there. Twenty six thirty two on the square footage. 159.9, 6.82 acres shop and has a tank on it. I'm telling you a great, great place. Hey, I want you to look at uh, this right here. We got a gated community uh, lot over on Salado Drive. It is 15783 Salado Drive. Great building site. 12, uh, we're asking 12,500 uh, for that one. And um, just, uh, I'm telling you right now, real estate is just really rocking. And it is a great time to be selling your house. Rates are still low. We're still in the four, uh, low fours. And uh, I don't know how much longer that's going to be going on. I think uh, at some point that's going to break and it's going to start coming up. And um, I want to point out a lot, of, a, a lot of stuff here and don't have a whole lot of time. So I want you to come and listen to us. And uh, I, I love talking to you. And uh, you have a great weekend. Don't forget us at I thirty five Realty Show next year. We still or, got a couple of seconds. Oh, we got a couple of seconds. They got a couple. Man, of seconds. I, I love I love you. Plug, just, plug the phone number. Plug yeah, I, let me plug it one more time. Eight 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 five five nine fifty two seventeen. And don't forget, uh, send us your questions. We love to answer your questions. Uh, we can't really do it on because we have such a short time. It is radio at i35realty.com. Radio at i35realty.com would be a, a great way to uh, send your question. Now, we'll answer it sooner um, the minute we see it. But um, we'll also bring it on to the uh, show. And we do look forward to uh, sharing more about real estate in the Central Texas area as we uh, go out with my uh, favorite uh, blues guy, and that is Stevie Ray Vaughan. We'll tell you about uh, the story where I got to see them play. He's a great guy. Well, you, we'll see you next uh, Saturday at 1. Bye now. Stop spreading-